Okay, we'll, we'll get started uh, with the technical contents. And this uh, first slide shows the different types of uh, two-way slabs that are used in reinforced concrete construction. The original slab system, as I mentioned last week, is the beam-supported slab. Slabs supported on beams on all four sides. Those slabs are designed as one-way slabs when the long to short side ratio of the slab panel is more than two. In that case, most of the bending, most of the load on the slab is transferred by bending in the short direction. As the panels become more squarish, the long to short side ratio goes below two there is significant load transfer by bending in both directions and then we uh, design them as two-way slabs. When the column line beams disappear and, and this is done for reasons of formwork simplicity and for shallowness of the slab system which gives you more headroom or, or allows you to pack more stories into the same height limit we have a slab supported directly on columns which we call a flat plate and then uh, as i pointed out the last time the uh, as the spans get long or the loads get heavy there is we have problem with two-way or punching shear around the columns and to take care of those, we would many times thicken the slab locally around the columns, creating what are called drop panels. And when a slab is equipped with, a, when a flat plate is equipped with drop panels, we call it a flat slab, which is in some ways a misnomer because the soffit obviously is not slab in a flat slab. Uh, for the same reasons of punching shear, the column top is sometimes flared, creating what are known as column capitals. Column capitals are parts of columns, not parts of the slab system, so they do not change the slab nomenclature. And then uh, if we take a flat plate and remove some of the tension concrete along two grid lines because the tension concrete doesn't do anything for us we would be creating a ribbed system a system that is ribbed in two directions and that is typically called a waffle slab uh, there are pan forms available for rental around the country that will create that structure uh, and for long spans uh, the two-way rib system or the waffle slab uh, what was a popular choice for long I, I, I don't believe they're as popular as they used to be and, and uh, note that the slab is solid directly above the columns for the same reason of punching shear so all these types of slabs are covered by what we are going to discuss in the seminar today just so that you know so this is a broad scope covering all types of reinforced concrete slab that we construct uh, around the country okay the first thing we are saying is shear is typically not critical where a two-way slab system is supported on beams and or walls that is typically the case However, shear can be critical for flat plates or flat slabs directly supported on columns. That, that is definitely the case. Uh, shear strength of the exterior slab column connection is especially critical because the total exterior negative slab moment must be transferred to the edge column. So as we discussed last week, we have unbalanced moments to be transferred at 
uh, slap column joints. Any unbalanced slap moment must go from the slap to the column. Uh, and, and, and part of that unbalanced moment is transferred by flexure, but the remainder by shear and the part of the unbalanced moment that is transferred by shear would cause would 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 cause shear stresses that are in addition to shear stresses caused by uh, gravity let us say so exterior columns tend to be more critical than interior columns